Hi, I'm Nicole Smithy from Iridescent Women, and today we're reading 1 Corinthians 10.31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Now, these words were written by the Apostle Paul as part of a letter to the early church in ancient Corinth to bring understanding, correction, and direction to their everyday lives. There were some believers in Corinth who were doing what they wanted, even at the expense of causing other Christians to be misguided and non-believers to witness what appeared to them to be a compromised faith. They were using grace as an excuse to exercise their personal liberties at the expense of others. Now, let's be honest. We've all been guilty of this. We want to do what we want to do, and if anybody has anything to say about it, we're going to label them as critical, judgmental, or legalistic. Or we say or do things in front of non-believers that undermine our witness as followers of Jesus, and we do so in the name of personal freedom. And our society is growing more and more individualistic. If we're not careful, we will pursue our personal freedoms and value them with very little thought as to how our actions will impact others. But Jesus, oh, in scripture, he shows us a different way. And here in this passage, we are reminded that there is a better way. The apostle Paul urges believers to do not what we feel entitled to or what we think we can get away with, but what most pleases the heart of God. When honoring Jesus, when bringing glory to Jesus is our number one priority, it changes how we live for the better. Our actions draw those who are far away from God closer to him, and they bring encouragement and equipping to other believers. So today, I wonder where you might be tempted to elevate personal freedom over bringing glory to God. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you where that might be. And today, may you choose to do what most blesses others, what most blesses God, what most pleases his heart. When that's our number one desire, we live a life that influences others to draw near to Jesus and to experience his love and truth.